Well. Well. Uh, Mother's Day. Uh, a bar, parking lot, and a shootout. <laughs> well, add a motorcycle club to it, and it sounds like par for the course for the weekend, right? So uh, we're going to talk about that uh, after this brief introduction. Seems like there was some sort of parking lot melee um, up in Topeka, Kansas. Man, uh, it it's kind of crazy when you hear about it. Like, uh, wow. So we'll talk about that after this brief introduction. Be right back. Swoosh, swoosh. So um, I'm Black Dragon. Welcome to Black Dragon Biker TV, the Black Dragon Biker News Network. Biker news you can trust. Biker news you can use. Biker news without all them views. Personal views, that is. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Somebody asked me, they tell me, Black Dragon, the clapping is so, ah, it's just so, ah. Why do you have that in your show? And uh, why do you have that, like, uh, when you are uh, first coming on? And that really, uh, the reason that I have it is I'm simulcasting. So I've got to turn on the, the, um, the, 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 the podcast and then it takes a couple seconds while I'm trying to bring the video up. So in order to have something going, I turn on the clapping. Uh, so that's the real reason that it uh, is like that, to get everything in sync and in order. It doesn't always happen that way. Those of you who've been watching me for a while know that. Listen, if you like this kind of stuff, this, this kind of videos and reporting, this, for, this so forth and so on, please support the channel by like, sharing, and subscribing. And, of course, you can also support the channel if you would like. Uh, donations at uh, dollar sign biker prayers. It's floating down on the bottom. Donations at dollar sign biker prayers, P-R-E-Z, on your cash app. And, of course, you can hit the super chat, the stars, or the donations over there on Facebook if you uh, should so desire. Absolutely, you know, we can use the support, so whatever. Let us uh, know. And we'll be happy. Today's story, uh, and if you um, go to Black Dragon Biker News, uh, today's story is, uh, what is today's story? Hell's Lover Motorcycle Club, Hell's Lovers Motorcycle Club, allegedly involved in a wild Topeka bar shooting. And in case you guys don't know, you can always go to bikerliberty.com. Uh, my daily online magazine to get your news stories printed. Uh, just in case you didn't know. Anyway, uh, this is crazy. This is a crazy story. Let's let's do the video first. Let's go over here and do the video um, of this first. Uh, is that going to pop up? Let's see. Uh, hopefully, I enable the sound. 
Producer, let me know if we can hear the sound. Action! Jeremy, thanks. And in our news this Friday at 5, another person has been arrested now in connection to that weekend shooting at Victoria's Bar in South Topeka. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office booked 41-year-old Caleb Conway today in connection to the shooting. It's on a felony arrest warrant. The Sheriff's Office also says a 41-year-old man who they did not specifically name was engaged in a verbal altercation with a group associated with the Hells Lovers Motorcycle Club before the shooting. Then an unnamed man not related to the situation arrived to pick up a bar employee there that last Saturday night before being hit multiple times by the bullets. The vehicle was found later and the driver was taken to a local hospital, treated and released. A lot of moving parts clearly on this story. Authorities also say another individual not involved in the original altercation and not inside the bar got out of his vehicle and shot at the man's vehicle. Four people remain jailed in connection with this shooting. The rest have since bonded out. We will, of course, follow any new developments as they happen. You know, wow. That huh, crazy, huh? Absolutely freaking crazy. Um, let me get this turned off before it comes back on. There we go. I think I actually captured it. Um, wow. This is like <laughs> a argument in the parking lot turns into a shooting. Okay. Sure, I mean, that happens. But some poor guy who pulls up gets shot multiple times? Like, what were they aiming at? Like, dude, you really need some serious range time. Like, we, we, we need to, you know, okay, okay. Outlaw Motorcycle Clubs, we're just going to have to ask that you guys <laughs> spend a little time at the range. Y'all be off target worse than drive-by shooters. It's ridiculous. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm pulling up to get my girlfriend and I get shot seven times. They said like multiple times these guys got shot. Topeka law enforcement have released additional information related to the weekend shooting at a South Topeka bar. You guys need to stay out of the bars. Okay, the bars are not working for motorcycle clubs right now. Especially outlaw and 1% of motorcycle clubs. Y'all need to stay the hell out the bar. Stay in your clubhouse. Well, shit. That doesn't work any either, does it? Uh, yeah. We just read about a major 1% club that uh, got attacked in their, their own clubhouse. Damn. I, I don't know what to say. If you can't hang out at your own clubhouse, but... Y'all need to stay out the bars. The bars ain't working. Uh, this is, this is, um, geez. Anyway, the Shawnee County Sheriff's Office, I guess that is SNSO, uh, took to social media to announce a summary of what happened at Victoria's Bar this past weekend. Deputies were sent to the bar located at 5011 Southwest Topeka Boulevard around 2.15 a.m. on Sunday morning. You know, my grandma used to say, boy, have your ass in here before midnight. You know, this is after I got a little older. Because, you know, before that, it was when the sun goes down and the street lights come on, you shall be at home. Or after I got, you know, into my teens, I could go out a little longer. Grandma used to say, have your ass in this house, boy, before midnight. And I'd be like, Grandma, why? Grandma would be like, because nothing good. Nothing good. She'd almost, it was almost like the color purple fingers. Nothing good. Nothing good happens after midnight, Grandma said. I think she may have been right. Looking at this, 2 o'clock in the morning. Listen, all the pretty girls have gone home by 2. Every woman worth her salt, <laughs> all the good girls leave around 12.30 a.m. If you ain't found what you need by 12.30 a.m., you ain't fixing to find what you need. Does that make sense? So here they are at 2 o'clock in the morning. 
2 o'clock in the morning, and this happens. On Sunday, May 14th, upon arrival, law enforcement found a 41-year-old man was in a verbal altercation in the parking lot with a group of people associated with the Hells Lovers Motorcycle Club. Several shots were allegedly fired at multiple vehicles. A vehicle was arriving at the bar to pick up an employee was also, uh, was also shot. The driver was hit multiple times, according to the SNSO. The driver, a 35-year-old male, male, fled the scene, and the vehicle was found a short time later in the 4500 block of Southwest Topeka Boulevard. The driver was taken to a local hospital for treatment and later released. Additionally, the SNSO said a separate individual. This is the crazy part. Listen, I get the whole carry, gun carry laws and all that, and I, I get the whole everyday carry and the... I get the whole, I get the whole, I always be prepared thing. You, 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 need, you need that. You need to always be prepared for whatever could happen. I'm with you on that. I don't understand how you're looking at a gunfight occur in front of you and you feel like you need to insert yourself in said gunfight. I mean, on whose side? Do you just run in shooting? Here I've come to save the day. And you come flying in shooting. Bro, that's what some guy did. He, he just decided to enter the gunfight and got his ass arrested. Uh, he, this individual's not inside the bar. He was not involved in the original fight. He was just sitting in his vehicle across the street from the bar when the shooting started. The man allegedly exited his vehicle with a gun and began shooting at the vehicle that was later found in the 4500 Southwest Topeka Boulevard. Is this saying that he started shooting at the guy who pulled up to get his girlfriend and he just started shooting at that guy? That guy wasn't even involved in anything. This individual was also taken into custody and charged with aggravated assault, criminal possession of a weapon, and criminal discharge of a firearm. In total, the SNSO arrested seven people. In connection with the shooting, a 28-year-old got three charges, aggravated assault, criminal possession of a weapon, criminal discharge of a firearm. A 26-year-old, look at these, just young people, possession of marijuana? Oh, really? That's it? In a gunfight, you get arrested for possession of marijuana and possession of drug paraphernalia. Are we talking wrong place, wrong time, or what? How do you get arrested for possession and you ain't even in a gunfight? Or how do you, well, at least his charges won't be too bad. 42-year-old, aggravated assault, criminal discharge of a firearm, 49-year-old, booked on an arrest warrant. Ah, oh, man, that sucked. You know you should have stayed home. 30-year-old, criminal discharge of a firearm, 39-year-old, criminal discharge of a firearm, aggravated assault, interference with law enforcement. Hmm. Wondered what he did to get that one. And a 41-year-old booked on a felony arrest warrant. Anyone with more information, of course, call Detective John Culver at 785-251-2534. Uh, <laughs> my producer said, because we about that life in Top City. <laughs> Is that what they call that, Top City? Oh, wow, man. Uh, I've heard that one of those guys may be a former club brother of mine and uh uh wow i hope not but uh we do uh hope the best for all involved looks like nobody was killed including the guy that got shot several times thank god for the dude uh for, for not dying for not losing your life look at all these young people man all these 20 something year old people it's uh it's kind of sad but uh, I'm glad everybody is still alive. Uh, I don't know if there's a takeaway from this. It, um, I don't know. Take takeaway is it, if you've got a gun permit, et cetera, et cetera, and you see a gunfight going on, don't get involved. Only get involved to like save a life or something, right? If you see somebody being robbed or something. In a gunfight, maybe you should just dial 911. I mean, stay out of it. It's different if you're driving by a school and you hear guns.
fire going off in the school. You got to do, you got to involve yourself. But uh, a fight outside, a, a, a fight outside a bar uh, and you just start shooting. Heck, you, you could be shooting at the wrong person, which seems to be what might have happened. Or maybe it was the right person. He saw an opportunity. Now, like, what if this was, what if this guy was stalking a girl that was getting picked up there? He was going to shoot that guy anyway. That was picking her up, and then he, I mean, anything could, could, could go on. I'm just trying to figure out why would you just involve yourself in a gunfight that you had nothing to do with? Bang, 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 bang. Oh, hell. <laughs> what are you thinking? I don't know. Anyway. Hey, that's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comments section below. No need to talk this to death. These people are out there with guns doing the damn thing. Hey, did you hear that Michigan passed this new law? Did you hear the new law that the wacky Michigan governor signed into law? Which now your ex-girlfriend, neighbors, <laughs> or, or parents, or anybody who might not like your ass can make a phone call and have you adjudicated as to whether or not you may be fit to have a weapon. And I mean, wow, if a girl gets mad at you or something, an ex-lover, an ex-lover, like how far in the ex? Does someone who has a grudge on me from five years ago get to call? I'm an ex-lover of Black Dragon. That guy is off the hinges. He needs his weapons taken now. Do they just come and show up at your door? Yeah. Yeah, man. Come on out. Uh, come on out. Come on. Come on out where? Yeah. Hey, this is a police department. Get your ass out here now. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> Jennifer X said, you, you're, you're not stable. Jennifer X? 15 years ago, Jennifer X? Come on, man. Make it make sense. Make it, do, do my high school teachers get to, to, to play a, a role in this? You know, he was never about a damn thing. That boy has always been on the loose. I mean, come on. My parents, son... Yes, Mom. Get your ass over and cut this yard. Mom, I'm 46. <laughs> I'll have your guns taken away. This, I mean, how far can this go? Can your priest have you? Holy moly. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. What did you do, son? Ah, uh, never mind. I, I don't want my guns taken away. This can be, this can, this how stupid can this be? Whew. I think the part that got me was ex, ex, ex relationships. Not the current relationship. <laughs> I, I can understand that. If you leave me, I'm killing everybody. I can understand. I can understand that. But 15 years ago, if you left me, oh, I, mean, I, I, was, I, I said that 15 years ago. That really can't really come back on me now, can it? Man, make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. Ah, my regional, uh, mid-central regional president said, yeah, one of the Hell's Lovers arrested was an ex-Black Sabbath. So now we have it. Um, I wasn't sure. It's something I had heard. Uh, we hate to hear when our brothers or former brothers or anything like that um, get caught up. In the system, we will say a prayer for him and uh, that sort of thing. Anyway, that's my, I just wanted to add that in. That's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comment section below. I'm Black Dragon. Thanks for tuning in. And get skinny. Oh, I need to find the outro button.
Prepare yourself to take the helm as president of your mighty motorcycle club by delving into the pages of Black Dragon's newest book, The President's Bible, Chronicle One, Principles of Motorcycle Club Leadership. There you will learn to advance your skills in applying the 14 scientific principles of leadership similar to those taught to officers in the United States Naval Service. Available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook, get yours today on Amazon, Kindle, or order it at your local bookstore. Order your autographed copy from BlackDragonsGear.com. Be the best motorcycle club president you can be. Get the book. Get Black Dragon's first book, The Prospects Bible, to learn how to join a motorcycle club. It has been an Amazon number one bestseller for the past seven years and is required reading for over 3,000 motorcycle clubs worldwide. This book is a must-have for new people venturing onto the motorcycle club set. It will teach you how to prepare yourself for service to the motorcycle club nation and show you how to qualify a motorcycle club to be worthy of your service. Available on Amazon, Kindle, and for order at your local bookstore. Get your autograph copy at blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club prospect you can be. Get the book.
And uh, we will see you in a minute when we break out. The first one we're going to be looking at is... Uh, well, let's do yours first. Yeah, how about you first?